हेलो वेलकम ऑल माई सेल्फ किरण आई एम फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ आई एस पी एस पी सी टूडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट फाइल शेयरिंग एंड प्रोटेक्शन फर्स्ट लेटर सी द आउटलाइन इंट्रोडक्शन टाइप्स ऑफ फाइल शेयरिंग मेथड रिस्क इन्वॉल्व इन फाइल शेयरिंग फाइल शेयरिंग प्रोटेक्शन मेजर्स बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस फॉर सिक्योर फाइल शेयरिंग एडवांटेजेस ऑफ फाइल शेयरिंग एंड वी एंड सेशन विद द कंक्लूजन एंड लेट एस सी वॉट इज मेंट बाई फाइल शेयरिंग एंड प्रोटेक्शन फाइल शेयरिंग रेफर्स टू ए प्रैक्टिस ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग और ट्रांसफरिंग ए फाइल्स डेटा और इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम वन यूजर और डिवाइजेस टू अनदर ओवर ए नेटवर्क और थ्रू स्टोरेज डिवाइस इट एनेबल यूजर्स टू शेयर डॉक्यूमेंट्स इमेजेस वीडियो ऑडियो फाइल्स एंड अदर टाइप ऑफ डिजिटल कंटेंट विद द अदर्स दैट इज फाइल शेयरिंग इज नथिंग बट ट्रांसफरिंग ए फाइल फ्रॉम वन डिवाइस टू अनदर डिवाइस और फ्रॉम वन यूजर टू अनदर यूजर एंड वॉट वी शेयर वी शेयर डॉक्यूमेंट्स इमेजेस वीडियो ऑडियो फाइल्स एंड अदर टाइप ऑफ डिजिटल कंटेंट and i had used a term called protection protection is used because we, it is very much essential to protect our files when we share and we will study about this protection uh, what are the steps that are implemented uh, to protect our file when when we share and we will study about this in further slides and let us see some overview and uh, this says the first point says malware malware and viruses data breaches legal consequences and identity theft these are nothing but the challenges or the risk that is involved when we share the file and and protecting file during sharing is essential to ensure confidentiality integrity and availability and in uh, there are some of the practices that are implemented or incorporated in order to protect our file Uh, from unauthorized access these are encryption password protection secure file transfer protocols and regularly updating antivirus and anti malware software and there are some of the methods where we can share the file that these are email attachments cloud storage services peer to peer network or local network sharing and there are several different operations that can be controlled these are reading from a file writing on a file executing a file by loading into the main memory and writing a new information at the end of the file and deleting a file and reusing the space and let us see the types of file sharing method first one is local file sharing local file sharing refers to a sharing a file within a local area network or be, or between a devices connected to the same network it involves it involves directly transferring a files between a computer or devices using methods like usb drives external hard drives or bluetooth second is network based file sharing network based file sharing involves sharing of files over a network typically through a file server or file sharing protocol common network based file sharing protocol include smb that is server message block and nfs network file system and this method allows multiple users to access and collaborate on shared files stored in a central server and the third one is cloud based file sharing and we are very familiar with the google drive where the files are uploaded shared and downloaded etc cloud based file sharing allows users to store doc store and share the files over internet using cloud storage services examples are onedrive box microsoft and dropbox and there are some of the risk involved in file sharing and one first one is malware and viruses what is meant by malware malware is nothing but a software that is typically designed to collapse or compromise the security of a system and one of the most and it is one of the most significant risk of file sharing uh, in the spread of one of the most significant risk of the file sharing is the spread of malware and viruses and it is what are what are, what is its source the source is when we download a file from untrusted sources or when we download a file from uh, network uh, that is peer to peer network and from there the viruses or malware can infect our system and what are the consequences when the malware and viruses infect our system are what a person faces uh, when the malware and viruses infect the system are uh, uh, the when we when it infect the uh, system uh, it can damage the user's device and it can steal personal information or even use their devices for illegal activities without their knowledge and second one is legal consequences file sharing 
copyrighted material without the permission can lead to legal consequences sharing copyrighted music or movies or, or software can result in copyright infringement lawsuits and hefty thefts that is if if a user sends uh, shares a copyrighted material it is one of the uh, risk because he, he does not owns the copyrights the original publisher will be owning he will be owning the copyrights so he is not supposed to share those things and it is uh, when we when he share that copyrighted material and it is also one of the risk because it it is subjected to copyright infringement and identity theft file sharing can also expose users to identity theft personal information such as login credentials or social secu- security numbers can be <coughs> inadvertently shared through a file sharing if the security measures are not implemented properly that is identity of a user is revealed if he doesn't follow the proper uh, measures while sharing the uh, file and this can be used by simil- uh, cyber criminals and uh, this information is used by c- cyber criminals uh, to commit identity theft which can serve consequence for victim severe consequence for victim and data breaches and leaks another significant risk of file sharing e- is the possibility of data breaches and leaks cloud based file sharing services and peer to peer networks are particularly vulnerable to data breaches if the security measures are not implemented properly and data breaches can result in loss of sensitive information such as personal data or in uh, intellectual data property which can have severe consequences for both individuals and organization and file sharing protection measures file sharing protection measures because there are some of the challenges as we studied in the previous slides in order to um, in order to protect our file we use this uh, methods and first one is encryption encryption is nothing but process of converting data into the coded language that is the normal text is converted into the cipher text cipher text is nothing but encrypted data that is encrypted data is nothing but uh, data which is not in its original form suppose if it is in- intercepted by a unauthorized person he cannot decode it because because it is in it is in the encrypted form so encryption is one of the uh, best methods uh, when we share a file and next is password protection password protection involves secure securing files with password uh, that must uh, must be entered before a file can be accessed and we have come across <coughs> we come across a uh, one familiar uh, example where pdfs are password protected only when we enter a uh, password then only that pdf will be uh, open uh, the, that is that is one of the way to protect our file from unauthorized access and let us see third one firewall protection firewall protection involves using a firewall to monitor and control network traffic to prevent unauthorized access to the user's device or network firewall also can be Uh, configured to block specific file sharing protocols or limit access to certain users or devices providing an additional layer of protection for shared files and let us see <clears throat> what are the best practices for secure file sharing use of trusted sources for file sharing when you use trusted sources uh, the risk of malware and viruses are eliminated that is to reduce the risk of downloading malware and viruses it is essential to use trusted sources for file sharing and second one is limit access to files to minimize the risk of data breaches or leaks users should limit access to files only to authorized individuals or groups this can be done using password protection encryption and other access control measures and the next is educate users on safe file sharing practices educate users on safe safe file sharing practices can help reduce the risk of security in incidents users should be trained on how to identify and avoid phishing scams how to recognize suspicious files or emails and how to securely share files and let us see the advantages advantages of file sharing file sharing plays a vital role in facilitating collaboration and communication communication among the individual and organization it allows people to share files quickly and easily across different location and reducing the need of physical meeting and enabling remote work 
फाइल शेयरिंग आल्सो हेल्प्स इंडिविजुअल एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू सेव टाइम एंड मनी एंड इट एलिमिनेट्स द नीड ऑफ फिजिकल ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ फाइल्स एंड प्रमोट नॉलेज शेयरिंग एंड इंफॉर्मेशन एंड एक्सचेंज एनहेंस एनहेंसेस फाइल सर्चेबिलिटी एंड रिट्रीवल दैट इज वेन वी शेयर ए फाइल नॉलेज अमंग द पीपल ऑल्सो इंक्रीजेस एंड इट एलिमिनेट्स द फिजिकल मीटिंग दैट इज इट कैन सेव टाइम विथ इंस्टेंट इंस्टेंटली वी कैन शेयर ए फाइल uh that can save the time when compared to physical meeting these are some of the advantages of file sharing and last part is conclusion in the conclusion file sharing plays a vital role in enabling collaboration enhancing productivity and promoting efficient information exchange that is when we share a file it it enhances the people knowledge uh, it can it enhances the people knowledge and uh, and uh, and however it equally pr- important to prioritize file protection through encryption access controls and secure sharing practices on the one hand there are lot of advantages that is when we share a file the information is shared among the people and their knowledge increases and it uh, make their work simple on the other hand there are some risk also involved in file sharing that is malware uh, malware practices uh, there are some legal consequences such as copyright infringements and identity theft all those things and in order to overcome this we use encryption access control and secure sharing practices to safeguard sensitive data and maintain privacy and thank you and if you have any doubts you can write the comments in the comment box and feel free to ask any doubts i am there to solve your doubts i hope you enjoy the session thank you